Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a tool giver. I, uh, that just happened right as I started recording, but yeah. So this works for any tool. Uh, you'll see these a lot in Tycoons and stuff. So you're first going to want to open uh, Roblox Studio, obviously. Open the toolbox. Uh, make sure you have properties open in Explorer. If you don't know how to open those, then uh, you may want to get like some studio help just watch like alvin blocks or something they have good uh roblox studio like basics tutorials but this is mostly for people that know like where everything is uh not, it's not that advanced but just know where everything is basically so you're first going to want to go to um uh the link in the description and it'll bring you here uh you're going to want to get it it's just uh the template of it uh then you go to my models um over here on this tab you open our tool giver uh, so as you can see, we have this. Uh, it includes three parts: uh, the giver, the and the two like up and bottom readme. Uh, so if you didn't get this at all, then that's probably why you're here, or you just found me on YouTube, something like that. So yeah, we have this. Uh, nothing else, just this. Now you're gonna want to get your tool or whatever you made. If you made the tool, it's totally fine. Um, uh, make sure that uh the tool uh has like a tool icon next to it and stuff uh and that's the last that we'll need of the toolbox but basically you have the tool right here uh if you don't know how to make a tool or whatever or don't know anything about tools again i'd suggest getting like help or something not help like not mental help or anything but just uh get some studio help or something uh i'm not that good of a tutorial person but yeah so you're gonna want to put uh this classic sword into replicated storage as you can see, it disappears. Uh, that's good. Uh, make sure it's not on the ground. I don't think that'll be good if it's on the ground. Uh, so just make sure it's in the air or whatever. Then what you're going to want to do is not duplicate this. Because let me show you. So right now we're going to obviously make uh, the thing that sticks up in here or whatever. That has uh, like a gun or whatever. Uh, so if you just duplicated this, obviously it still has a sword and everything. But if we were to put it inside of here. And put, um, go to the handle, but can't collide to false and anchor to true. Then if we were just to play here, uh, you'll s notice a bug. Obviously, it's not going to give it to us yet, because we haven't scripted anything. But if we walk over here, as you can see, this happens. And this is not good, because you're basically stealing the sword out of it. It'll still function properly. But if you want to do, like, the model or whatever, you're not going to want to do that. Uh, so just make sure you delete that. Don't have that. So what you're going to want to do is, since you can't use that, uh, you're going to want to only duplicate the handle or other parts of this. And the handle will, uh, oh god, oh god, oh god, what happened? Okay, uh, anyways, the handle will, um, will only be the sword itself. It won't be any of the scripts, it won't be how to kill, or like, kill people. Obviously, this is very bad positioning, just because, uh, I'm not that, like, I don't, I'm too lazy to make it forward or whatever. Uh, like, rotate it and stuff, so you can do that in your free time. But what you're going to want to do is, anchored, can collide to false. And, as you can see, uh, we should pass right through it. Obviously, again, we haven't scripted anything, so nothing will work. But now we will not, like, hover over it and our character won't spaz out. Because sometimes our character does spaz out if it's too close to the ground. As you can see, uh, just, does, like, we just fall or walk right through it. So, yeah, swords being stabbed through us through a Pop-Tart box. But, yeah. So, that's, uh, that's that. Then... Uh, then is a really easy part. It's actually really, really easy. Are you going to want to do, go to weapon giver, go to the model itself, then click on giver, and there should be a script in here. Now, uh, obviously, all you have to change is this right here, and then you're done. So uh, you're going to want to name this exactly what it's uh, it has in replicated storage. So classic sword with caps and everything, or else it will not work. Uh, so basically what's this doing is it's just finding the item, giving it to the person, stuff like that. Uh, I'm not good at explaining stuff. But then when we play it, uh, as you can see, sorry, it's a little bit slow to load. But if we walk over it, 
we get the sword. And fully functional works. I'm not going to test out the sword because I know it works. Uh, you'll see these a lot in tycoons, like the weapon givers. Uh, we, we can't get this an infinite amount of times. So you can just keep going over it until our inventory is full. So that's one bug I do have, but if you, it, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really affect anything. Uh, I'm not that good at scripting, but as you can see, just keeps giving them to us, uh, and we can check our inventory, and we have more. Uh, but yeah, that's how you make. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can drop items. Not too sure, but um, how you do? But but yeah, that's the video. Hope you guys did enjoy the video.